Hello guys, welcome again to my channel, Kemi Foods. <laughs> um, I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, today I just want to share with us something most of you already know how to do. It's just um, how to wash your fish. Okay, for today's video, it's just simple. I've got two types of fish here. One is the um, catfish, which is that. And then I have another fish there, which is your croaker. And I'll be sharing with us today how to wash them. Um, you know, to ensure that it's clean and it's nice before you start marinating it to go into the oven. Okay. Um, if you watch my previous video, you will know for fish, because of the smell, I like to um, cover my hair. I can't stand the smell. I like fish, but I can't stand the smell lingering in any part of my body. So yes, I'm going to wear my scarf just to um, cover my hair. Okay. Okay. I already washed my hands. So that's my tap. I'm going to wash it again. Okay. As you do. Um, some detergents or soap as they say to wash my hand properly always always a given hands have to be washed um, thoroughly when you're handling food so yes so that's the first fish there you can see that that is um, your catfish with all the things there, with the, sorry, the um, whiskers there, and the, you know, look at that fish, okay? Now, the first thing you notice is that, look at the belly of that fish. It's clear, it's white, you see? So, being someone who grew up in the River Rhine area, um, I like my fish this way, okay? This is the, for my, in my own opinion, this is the difference between a fish that was caught in the sea and the fish that was um, that was um, grown, if, if if you understand what I'm saying, like farmed or whatever. So, because this is an indication to me of the kind of diet this fish had. You see, and that's a big thing for me. Okay, so looking at it, the belly is clear; it's not black. As some of them, you know, I have. It's not. I'm not talking about whether the fish is farmed or whatever that's not the point here point is I prefer my fish to look like this this is an indication of the kind of diet this fish had you see what I'm saying and it's very important to me so when I want to get catfish I try and get the ones that were caught in the sea all right rather than the ones that were farmed and the difference is you would notice the chain the difference in the belly look at the belly the color will be Different. This is clear, almost, look at that. You won't be able to tell if that was a catfish if I cover the head. It's just clear, really nice, okay? So, you want to start cleaning the fish from the belly. You want the belly to look nice, like that. All clear, there's no debris in there. You know, you have your good running water to wash it down. And because it's catfish, I like to use a bit of salt, just normal salt. Just rub the salt on it, okay? Yes, you know like salt, what salt is? Your salt is just too powerful, okay? Helps you to clear any bacteria, anything that is in there that you don't want, you know, that's not good for you, the salt will kill it. See what I'm saying? So I like to use a bit of salt, you know? Yes, there's a worry that it might make the fish a bit salty, but that's why we have the running water. So as soon as you rub the salt all over the fish, you know, put it under the running water, wash it away. You know, look at that. Look at that. I'll show us in a minute. Look at that. See how clear that is. See how clear that is. It's amazing. Look at that. Okay. So that is ready thoroughly ready so I can place it there all right and the next one is your croaker it's a good size too this is a clear fish so for this one I don't really have to use the salt on it 
You see what I'm saying? So it all it, it this it all has to do with what the habitat of the fish. You know, what's the natural habitat of that fish? So and that's where we go into when we use the salt. But this is good. Look at that. Look at the size of that. Look at the clearness of that fish. See? See that? Okay? So this is nice. This is already been cleaned nicely. And I've put nice little slices in there where I will infuse the um, spices in. You know, and then so it cooks well and sucks, soaks in the whole um, the whole spices and niceness. So yeah, that is amazing, amazing. This is an amazing fish. Okay, so look at that, nice. Okay, so that will go in there. Don't worry, I'll show you. I'll show you the tray when we're finished. So I have another catfish. Ooh. You must be thinking now, what's this with the catfish? Oh, it's nice. Okay, again, look at the belly. You can see that this is clear, but it's not as clear as this one. See that? So I know that this one had a better diet, that is organic diet, than this one had. You see that? Because you can see the way the belly, the color of this one is clearer than that one, okay? and there's no smell isn't that amazing there's no smell with this fish it's just um, nice again a bit of salt rub it down okay rub it down you know let's get some salt in there you know rub it down and then run it under the water okay you get the gist now yeah so you run it under the water and let it drain and then we'll place it there with the rest of the crew there's one more okay yes now you see that see how clear that is all the way all the way to the tail you can see the white streak there all the way this fish had a brilliant diet you see that so I know that I'm comfortable to eat it because I know this fish wasn't found you see that for those of you who have something against that for me I don't it's just that I prefer my fish naturally or current because hey I grew up in the river Rhine you see what I mean so I'm used to that I can't just change that now that I'm older you see so once again a bit of salt a bit of salt on there and then run it on that water I use warm water because it brings the best out of it. Okay, so yeah, I'm really not rocking science. Okay, then I have my scissors there, and um, if there's anything on the fish, things, whiskies, whatever, anything that I don't like, I can cut that off, all that off. See that. See that? Anything that is there that I don't like and cut that off. See that? This fish was really nicely cleaned. So yeah, that's it. And the fish is ready. Okay, so here you go. Look at that. Tell me what is not beautiful about this. You tell me what's not beautiful. Look at the cleanliness of this fish. So the way it's all looking nice, all clean. A little bit of salt, pepper, all the stuff, the spices. Voila, into the oven. And this just comes out brilliant. See, look at that. It's amazing, amazing. And the cut of these, um, this croaker, Everything about it is clean, it's just nice. Look at that. Look at the size of the fish. Look at the inside of the fish. It's just amazing. If you love fish, obviously you will know what I'm talking about. So, this is now ready to go. 
and be um, marinated okay and shoved in the oven and that's it so guys that's it that's it that's all about how to um, wash your fish and get it ready for how to marinate the fish check my videos there's a video there how to marinate fish and just go on and do what you have to do don't forget to like subscribe and share his kmit foods kmit foods and then um, we're on social media including tiktok now at kmit foods same handle all across the social media platform and i'll be looking forward to your comments and suggestions and if there's any difference of opinion we can talk about it okay and um yeah for this video i have used two different types of fishes um, your catfish and your croaker some of that fish might require a little bit more details in terms of washing it and how long you wash it for or what you use for washing but i've used salt the salt is brilliant it's easy it's staple it's at home you don't have to go too far to get it and it does the business take care and i'll see you in the next video bye